It's coffee time! Looks like you just press the start button. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a new segment that I'm going to start on this channel called Coffee Time. So if you see Coffee Time up in the title, that means it's going to be a video talking about my life and things that are going in my life currently or in the past or just little random vloggity vlogs. First question, do you prefer me in color like I am right now or black and white. I personally like black and white, but some people like color, so I'm going to do this video in color. Let me know if you would prefer black and white or color. And as you can see, the steam coming out of my coffee cup. Oh, wow, that was way too hot. This actually boiled over in the microwave uh, just like a couple minutes ago, like just exploded in the microwave and I had to clean up all the black coffee. For those of you who don't know, I drink uh, black coffee and coffee with creamer in it. I like b like them both. Um, I drink both types. Um, one of my favorite types of coffee creamer is usually peppermint or caramel or vanilla. So, coffee time. I want to talk about a little bit of things about going on in my life recently. Mainly, some... <laughs> stuff uh, that happened. Oh, by the way, these videos are going to be unedited, so you're not going to have any fancy editing. It's just going to be me making grammatical mistakes, ums, as, ofs, and r random orgasm sounds constantly throughout this video. So, procrastination. So April 1st, no, April 2nd, what, I think it was April 2nd, I don't know, this week, or I should say last week, um, Classes started for spring quarter. I am in my third year of college, and sadly enough, I procrastinated payment for my college tuition, even though I was already in my classes. So I was in fifth, three classes, which constituted, you know, 15 credits in college, and I procrastinated, which is something I always do. But I procrastinated to the point to where it, I didn't pay for my classes in time, I forgot about me. I forgot about payment. I remember when I got into my classes, it said you owe two uh, two thousand dollars or whatever. I'm like, okay, I'll just I'll wait it out. I don't feel like paying. I don't feel like taking the effort to pay for it right now. I had the money. I just didn't feel like typing my credit card number and all that jazz. So I just waited it out, and not to my surprise, I forgot about it. And when it came to the previous night before college started. I checked my classes, and I looked at my class schedule, and it said, empty. Like, I wasn't in any classes, and I was like, what the crap? But then I saw a thing that says, an overdraft fee of $100. And I was like, what the crap is this? Then I remembered I didn't pay, which means that if I didn't pay in time, I automatically get dropped out of my classes. Meaning that I'm not going to be in the classes unless I can, by some lucky chance, get into it. So, that night, I registered for my classes... And I happened to be on the wait list of my college class, number six, on both of my classes. On all, no, all of my, all three classes, I was number six. So, usually how college works is if you're on a wait list and you're number six in the, on a wait list, usually professors do not overload students, and if they do, it's usually one through three. The first three people on the wait list usually always get in the class. I was six, so I was like, that's not, there's not going to be any chance of that. But I still went to college that uh, following morning anyway, and I sat in my classes, um, and let's just say I wasn't able to get any. The teachers told me that they only take the first two students on the wait list, and I happened to be six in both of them, which made me really pissed, out, pissed off at myself because this quarter, spring quarter of 2012, I would have gotten my one year of language. My language I'm taking in college right now is ASL, American Sign Language. And of all things, of all things, the one class I needed to be needed to be able to be accepted into the university that I'm trying to get into is I needed that one class. And because I procrastinated payment, I forgot about payment, I now have to wait six months until fall of 2012. Meaning that I have six months, including the summer and this spring, of no school. 
So I have a massive break. Hence, I don't know if any people have been noticing, I have uploaded a video since March 28th. I have uploaded the video every single day. I'm almost wondering if I should try to see if I can upload a video every single day for the entire month of April, which is also known as VEDA uh, vlog every day in April or whatever. VEDA, V-E-D-A. But yeah, that, that procrastination sucks. Does anyone struggle with procrastination? I certainly do. But the strange thing about procrastination is that I usually work better under when I procrastinate because if I have a whole lot of time to complete a assignment or something on school, I always... If I have a whole lot of time to do it, I'll be lazy. I mean, I'll do it, but I won't put as much effort into it. I won't try to make it sound better. I won't, I won't put as much effort into the project I'm working on, which is odd. Normally, if you have lots of time to do something, you usually put a lot of effort towards it. I'm the exact opposite. But when I'm pressured, when I have an assignment to do the next day, I cram it in, and I work better under pressure and stress. That's what I have found. I work better, more efficient, under stress. So I procrastinate a lot of the time, for the main reason is I do a more complete and better job the day before the project's due. And I, I know that sounds absurd, because that's kind of like the reverse psychology. Normally, if you have lots of time, you don't want to procrastinate or wait to the last day. But I'm not like that. It's strange how I work that way. That's one of the reasons um, I've also, by the way, for people who don't know, um, I've been wanting to be a cop for my entire career since I've been like age five. I have over 60 credits specifically in the area of criminal justice, but I don't know if I want if being a cop really is for me now, especially as I'm getting older and realizing I have interests in other things, including being a cop, but it's just not as important to me as it was when I was uh, 17 and 18 and even 19, but now that I'm 20, I'm just... I've worked for my local police department, I've attended a lot of police classes, I've done ride-alongs, I got to see someone get run over by a car, I got to go into bars, I've mentioned this in an earlier video, I got to go into several bars when I was underage, which was really interesting, some really interesting experiences there. Um, but yeah, uh, in two, three months, I will be old enough to submit my police application for my local police department near my house in Renton. I live in Renton, Washington, which is close to Seattle. I always say I live in Seattle, but I live in Renton, Washington. And um, I'm going to apply for that local police department. And if I get in, um, I will become a cop. But, you know, pol pol getting into a police job is very difficult based upon how much, comp comp uh, how much competitiveness there is, because... Policing is a very competitive job. Is it? They uh, take applicants based upon experience and college credits. Thankfully for my local police department, though, they take in uh, people for job applications based upon how many credits they have, and I have a crap load of college credits. I have over 140 college credits, and I don't even have a bat. I don't even have a degree yet, technically. I have certificates, like I have a, a certificate in corrections. Um, working in prisons, and I have like a police certificate thing, and another certificate for completing um, my police academy stuff for my local police department and stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually apply for my police department in a couple months because you have to be 20 and a half in order to do it because it usually takes like six to 12 months for the hiring process. That's how big it is because I go under um, a criminal rec. They, they go all about me. They find everything about me. They go uh, criminal records. They find fingerprints, which I already have my fingerprints done, and people already have my fingerprints, by the way. I've done fingerprinting, by the way. I can take your fingerprints. If you are a criminal and you are coming to my house, I can tie you up and I can take your fingerprints and file them. I know how to do that. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I need to get tasered pretty soon, along with being pepper sprayed, but I might, use, I might leave the pepper spraying for a future video in uh, Dare Rep. But yeah, procrastination, and my procrastination got the best of me, and I'm not in college for the next three months. I'm going to increase my work hours at my job to four days a week. Um, I'm going to be on YouTube a lot more and uploading a lot more videos more frequently, hence why I've been uploading videos almost every single day this entire month of April is because I have nothing to do besides work. And work is tiresome, but on my free time, I have nothing to do. All my friends are in college, they're all busy, they're all doing homework, and I'm just sitting here in my lone room by myself. Yeah, it's lonely. Happy Easter, by the way. It's not Easter yet, but tomorrow's Easter, and I'm going to go to church tomorrow morning very, very early and 
Wish me luck, because I may be interacting with someone who I haven't seen for a very, 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 very long time back in preschool. And back in preschool, I remember who she was. I remember that even in preschool, I liked her. And I haven't actually talked to her verbally since preschool, which is a long, long time ago. And I'm gonna, I may see her tomorrow. I don't know if I will, but if I do see her tomorrow, I'm going to... Uh, I really want to say ask her out to coffee, but I don't know if I could. I, I don't. I don't know if I'm capable of doing that. No, I am capable of doing it. I just don't know if I can get it out of my mouth because <sighs> I get really nervous around girls uh, when I like them and I want to say certain things like uh, I want to ask them out on a date or something. I mean, I've asked people out before, but I don't know. There's something different about this person. There's a lot more. I feel as if there's a lot more pressure for me to, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm nervous is all I can say. If I do interact with her, I'm going to try to ask her out to coffee and hopefully she'll say yes. I plow. Hopefully she says yes. I hope. Because I tell you, every girl I seem to ask out, which isn't a whole lot, I don't do it often, but the girls that I do ask out tend to always have boyfriends. And it's very depressing. With that said, don't procrastinate. Don't be like me. Don't get dropped out of all your classes and charge an overdraft fee from procrastinating. Don't do it. It's just not good. Um, yeah, I'm going to apply for uh, my uh, cop job, police job, in a couple months. Hopefully I can get into that. If not, um, I'm going to pursue my degree in a uh, bachelor degree of behavioral psychology. And if that doesn't work, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just try to pursue a YouTube career after those two attempts don't... <coughs> excuse me. Don't work. And yeah, happy Easter, everybody. I don't know if there will be a video tomorrow. There'll, no, you know, there will be a video tomorrow. That That's that's no question. So with that said, I'm Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Solzbach. You want more of these Coffee Time vlogs where I'm just ranting, talking, and sounding like a complete and utter idiot? Please let me know in the comments below. Peace, the rep out.